Yeah, you see, a large consortium, we were trying to solve the problem of um, MRI-guided focused ultrasound and moving organs, and it's now eight years and was a huge funding effort by the European Commission. Um, and the <coughs> key challenge is not new, and there were other groups, Rares, Salomir, and others showing um, that this is possible, but how can we get this really in a clinical system? So we work strictly according to ISO 1345 to make it really a, a product development inside Tech GE supporting this. And can you, how can I click here further? So and the concept was to take a previously developed robotic system to take the conformal bone system into the MRI and then position it on the patient so you have much more flexibility to get under the rib cage. And the key problem is the liver moves, the lesion moves. So to develop MRI tracking, to develop a populational model of the patient so that due to the uh, option in this sophisticated conformal bone system with 900 elements to apply the beam forming um, relation to the MRI 4D tracking of the lesion and to sonicate. However, we still have the rib cage as an obstacle and we, should, we don't want to resect ribs, we don't want to burn the ribs, so the multi-elements allow certainly a switching on and off of elements, but you can imagine how difficult it is to visualize the ribs and then accordingly switch elements on and off so that ultimately through the rib cage, while the organ is moving, patient is breathing, um, the sonication would be possible. So we have this challenge, but we have also a breakthrough, and I would like to invite Cesare. He presented this, that this is now a, a software-based controller, the Transfusimo controller, with which any kind of MRI, any kind of focus ultrasound system could be connected uh, to allow the sonication. And Cesare made the first um, animal trial in Palermo. Good morning to Q Andreas. Here is the software that's being developed by the, the guys who are working within the consortium. As you can see on the lower left corner, there is an API real-time imaging. The software identified with the blue markers the spot, the vessels within the liver, which allow us to use these motion compensation algorithms. And when we start the sonication, as you can see, the thermal imaging is showing up. And of course, there is a real-time beam steering that is following the target during the sonication according to the motion compensation algorithm that is following real-time movement of the liver of this animal. It's a pig model under ventilator-controlled breathing. And as you can see, the heating that we are achieving is, is oh, sorry, it's Yeah, it's a, a, we have a very reliable thermal imaging. The beam steering, uh, according to the motion compensation algorithm, is working very good. Uh, the animal trial is still ongoing, so probably we are going to improve and, uh, other parts of the, the software things and the setup, but this is where we are. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, just a word, this is a consortium and we are obliged to um, kind of share the results um, and <coughs> this is therefore open for discussion with anyone. Certainly Inside Hack is pretty much ahead. I have made a special transducer for this, but I think we should really tackle liver. Liver is by far the largest application and it's also done by the radiologist, any kind of patient who renders uh, eligible for kind of ablation therapy goes to the radiologist, the radiologist can decide, and the radiologist is the person who has the MRI. So I think this is really an important final frontier we should overcome. Thank you. Thank you very much.